we're going to install the Man Cave Specialties Extended Magazine Release on a PS90. You'll need a 3mm Allen wrench and a small pick or screwdriver. Let's get started. First, we'll clear the rifle to make sure it's safe to work on. Then we'll remove the receiver. Make sure to cock the charging handle all the way. The hammer needs to be cocked to remove the breech block assembly. Remove the breech block assembly. Slide the butt plate off the stock. Then remove the trigger housing assembly. Unscrew and remove all 10 stock assembling screws. Separate the two halves of the stock. The ejection port door will drop out. Remove the factory magazine release assembly. Caution, these parts are under spring tension. Hold both the spring and plunger tightly as you compress the spring and lift the plunger out of the factory magazine release. Then compress the spring on the ledge of the new magazine release and slide the plunger into place. Reinstall the extended magazine release assembly onto the right half of the stock. Start at an angle, then push the plunger into its groove. Ensure the trigger and operating rod are in place on the left half of the stock and all the way forward. Then install the right half of the stock. Reinstall the stock assembling screws, taking note that some of the nuts on the other side of the stock may have fallen out during disassembly and will also have to be reinstalled. Run the screws up all the way without tightening first. Then go back and give each one a light snug using a cross tightening pattern. Note the orientation of the ejection port door, then reinstall it in the stock assembly. Locating the ejection port door spring in the correctly seated position can be tricky, so you may need the help of a small pick or screwdriver. Reinstall the trigger housing assembly, butt plate, breech block assembly, and receiver. Check for function. And there you have it, the Man Cave Extended Magazine release installed on a PS90.